First we'll remove the Sony warranty label from the left side of the machine. And then the rubber screw cover and then there's a single security hex head screw or torque screw that holds the outer cover on. And then we slide the cover to the side and lift it off. Now before we take off the inner cover we're just going to cover there's a small aluminum screw mount here that takes that uh, that torque security screw and that'll fall out on the floor so I'm just going to put a little piece of masking tape over that just to hold it in place won't fall out and cause us trouble later. Now we're going to remove seven screws that hold this inner cover on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh screw in the back right corner is shorter than the other six These, this is the length of the normal screw. The short screw from the back right corner is roughly half, a little bit more than half probably the length of the other screws. It's labeled back here with an S for short screw. So you'll know where that came out of later. set those screws aside and we lift the inner cover off releasing it at one, two, three spots with little plastic catches that you can release with a small flathead screwdriver and then the inner cover comes off. Now I'll just take quick stock of what we see here. On the left side you have your power supply, you got your memory card slots, Beneath that is actually your Wi-Fi card with an antenna that runs back to this point here, the tip of the antenna. And over here is your Blu-ray drive. And here is your eject and reset buttons and the little green and red lights on the little circuit board. So we'll start removing all the parts. First we're going to remove, we're going to loosen the uh, power cable for the Blu-ray drive. We're going to lift, lift the disk drive up and underneath here is the data cable that attaches. And we're going to release a little plastic clip. We're just going to gently lift that up, pry it up. It's easier to use your fingernail. And then the cable comes loose. And we'll set the disk drive aside for a minute clean that out later. And then we're going to remove screws that hold the memory card ports in. Lift up the card ports. Free the cable here. And we have another plastic clip right here. We lift up, the cable comes out, we'll set this aside. We have four more screws to hold the Wi-Fi in. This is the first model motherboard. So there's actually a little more to take out in this model than in the second or third generations. So depending on your model, you may have a little bit more or less and in future videos we will show how to take those apart and clean them as well. But really they're all the same as far as the heat sink goes. Same principle, just cleaning that out and repasting it. So we take now these, these screws are a little bit longer. 
going to separate those out and now we take out the little controller board with the eject and reset buttons Put those aside so one more screw for the Wi-Fi smaller screw we'll keep together and we're going to lift so the Wi-Fi has a little piece of tape attaching it to the side of the power supply we just have to kind of break that and we're going to lift the Wi-Fi card up and again we have yet another clip that we'll lift up gently pull the ribbon out and we free the Wi-Fi set that aside now, we disconnect the power here from the power supply, so power flows in the back, through the power supply, gets converted from AC to DC, and then comes out and connects to the motherboard. So we loosen that connection there, remove the screws that are holding the front of the power supply to the case. We have three screws in the front, two screws in the back, turn us around here, we have one, two screws here, and we can lift the power supply out attached with two prongs here to the motherboard. We lift up some to free it. There are the two connecting posts. And then we free from the power port in the back. Pinch the little connector. Pull it out. There's our power supply. And we have a ground screw back here. That's a different type with a little washer on it, a little lock washer. 